So one final revisit before moving forward, right? Let's take a look at how did we start and what all did we did, right? So we started with the fundamentals. We understood what is Salesforce, why does Salesforce exist? We understood a bit about Salesforce. We took a look at the platform, the force.com, which is now called lightning platform. We understood the cloud computing architecture, the two ways of, you know, distinguishing the cloud computing models. One was on infra ownership and the other was on the service models. We talked about IAAS, infra as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. We understood that salesforce.com comes under sales software as a service, right? Then we looked at Salesforce also follows the MVC pattern, which was the model view and controller. We jumped into understanding the core Salesforce architecture. How is Salesforce maintaining everything? That's when we understood, okay, there is an org, there are, there are instances, they are called points of deployments, they have data centers, and each org is linked to the pod, right? And then we understood that Salesforce uses the Oracle database to store data. And finally, we jumped into the architecture within Salesforce as a software. What architecture does it follow? So you can create applications inside it, you can configure objects, and then you can link multiple objects, and each object has their own fields and attributes. We talked about standard versus custom. Pretty much everyone talks about the keyword standard and custom, but we understood it. We understood the difference. We understood schema. We understood why is schema important, right? And then we jumped into relationships in Salesforce. We took a look at the two primary relationships, master detail and lookup. And then we also shed some light on many to many. We also looked at some examples. Then we looked at self relationship, hierarchy relationship. And then finally, I asked you to, you know, do a quiz. We talked about the why of custom development. Why do we need it? When should you go custom? We talked about the declarative tools that you have and the programmatic tools that you have. And what is the line between them? Who maintains it? Who handles it? What is low maintenance? What is high maintenance? And then I suggested you to take a look at the administrator playlist if you are not good with admin before you jump into development so that you understand Salesforce uh, admin first the out of the box offerings. And then I also encourage you to understand and master the flows by looking at the flow builder masterclass that I have. And then we finally concluded that, okay, we need a practice org for ourselves. So we created a developer edition org for ourselves. And we also understood the difference between production and sandbox instances, right? And that's all that we have done in the last 50 slides or so. And now that brings me and congratulations if you have been able to continue till here that brings us to apex that's the server side language and that's what we'll be starting off with next